Well, we're in the middle of a, uh, a three-part series with an introduction, so I guess there's four parts to it, on how to find a healthy, well-balanced church. As I said in the introduction, he who aims at nothing invariably hits it. So you got to know what you're looking for. And uh, we talked about worship, oneness, and now I want to talk about witness. Every healthy, well-balanced church is going to equip its, its body, as it were, to be able to go out and impact the world. Now, by that, I don't mean that they're going to have a rally where they get you all excited about uh, you know, grabbing people by the lapels and saying, brother, are you saved? You know, or you rush out into the highways and the byways and you start doing... No, this is... In fact, I oftentimes say it's not about evangelism. Sounds a little counterintuitive, doesn't it? But what I really mean in saying that is that ultimately it's about equipping for evangelism. If you are prepared, then you're going to be able to share the grace and truth and love that only Jesus Christ can bring to the human heart. So it's preparation within the context of the church. There's got to be an educational component whereby you are always ready. This is what Peter says. We're going to be always ready to give an answer, a reason for the hope that lies within us with gentleness and with respect. So the church has to be equipping its people. And when you're equipped, uh, what, what, what happens is witness takes place in the normal course of everyday living, in the highways and the byways. Uh, I'm going to tell a little story on myself. I probably shouldn't, but it's embarrassing, actually. I remember uh, speaking to a huge group of people in another country, uh, thousands and thousands of people, when I got done, I autographed, and I got lots of accolades, and then I got on a plane, and I sat down, and the guy next to me started asking me questions. Hey, where are you from? I gave him one word of answers because I wanted to sleep. I was dead tired, and I really didn't want a conversation with him. Well, he kept asking me questions, and eventually I got the word. God wants me to talk to this person. Anyway, we had a conversation. I cannot tell you that this person came to faith in Christ, but I can tell you I was ready to answer his questions, and God had uniquely put me next to this purpose, uh, this person for a purpose, and that is to share with him. Well, that's what equipping for evangelism is all about. I was equipped. God gave me the opportunity. Now, this does not mean in any sense that you have to feel like you have all the answers. One of the fun things about reaching people, Yuan Galizma, sharing the good news, the gospel of Jesus Christ, one of the great things about this is that in the process, you are going to find out you don't have all the answers. And, and, and because of that, you have to research and return, and in the process, you become a more usable vessel in the tool or a tool in the hands of the Holy Spirit. So, uh, again, this series has been on how to find a healthy, well-balanced church. A few pointers I've written about this in my book, the complete Bible answer book, collector's edition, revised and updated. But the bottom line is you've got to find a church in which... You are worshiping God in spirit and in truth. You have to find a church in which you can be integrated into wholeness or oneness, part of the body. And you want to find a church in which people are being equipped to go out and impact a lost and searching world. God's left us here for a reason. And if I can finish my little story, I will tell you on that airplane, though I was tired when I started, by the time I got finished, I felt like I could leap a tall building. Why? Because the presence of the Holy Spirit was moving in my life. No experience like that experience. Thanks for joining me for a series that has to do with asking Hank about how do you find a healthy, well-balanced church.